Jerry Lawler's 1971 Wrestling Odyssey. In 1971, Jerry Lawler embarked on a remarkable journey through the wrestling world, leaving an indelible mark on the sport. His year was filled with intense battles, memorable showdowns, and a relentless pursuit of victory. The year began at the Chilhowee Park Sports Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee, where Lawler teamed up with Dennis Hall to face Ron and Don Wright. Despite their efforts, Ron and Don Wright secured a victory in a memorable showdown on January 1. The following day, Lawler joined forces with Mike Pappas at the Tally Ward Recreation Center in Morristown, Tennessee, to take on Steve Clements and Rick Sanchez. Lawler's travels took him to the Westmoreland Sports Arena in Tupelo, Mississippi, on January 8, where he partnered with Mighty Atlas to face Lorenzo Parente and Bobby Hart. Just a few days later, on January 11, he squared off against Tony Russo at the City Auditorium in Columbus, Mississippi. February saw Lawler in Alabama, where he faced the enigmatic Green Shadow at the National Guard Armory in Florence on February 9. Later that month, on February 27th, he battled Sir Clements at the Marshall County Coliseum in Albertville. March was a busy month for Lawler, starting with a match at the Western Kentucky State Fairgrounds Convention Center in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, on March 18th, where he teamed up with Buddy Wayne Peel to face Bobby Hart and Lorenzo Parenti. The next day, he faced Don Wright in a battle of wills at the Chilhowee Park Sports Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee, with Don Wright emerging victorious. Lawler continued his journey in Alabama, teaming up with Frankie Kane to face the Samoans at the Convention Hall in Gadsden on March 25th. In April, he faced a series of tough opponents, including Frank Monte and the Alaskan at the Municipal Auditorium in Birmingham on April 5th and the Green Shadows at the Convention Hall in Gadsden on April 8. One of the highlights of Lawler's year was his participation in the NWA Tennessee Tag Team Titles match at the Chilhowee Park Amphitheater in Knoxville, Tennessee on April 30th. Although he and his partner Omar Atlas were defeated by the Untouchables, Lawler's determination and tenacity shone through. As the summer of 71 heated up, Lawler continued to make waves in the wrestling world in Anniston, Alabama, he faced Johnny Long on June 4th, Sam Bass on June 11th, and teamed up with Bobby Whitlock to take on Roy Bass and Dick Taylor on June 25th. His matches were a testament to his passion and energy. Lawler's journey didn't stop there. He ventured to Jonesboro, Arkansas on June 26th and Selma, Alabama on July 31st, where he continued to engage in thrilling matches. His dedication to the sport was unwavering, and his performances left a lasting impression on fans and fellow wrestlers alike. By September, Lawler had achieved a significant milestone, becoming the Tri-State's Tag Team Champion with Steve Lawler. His success continued throughout the rest of the year as he wrestled for Tri-State's Championship Wrestling, further cementing his legacy in the wrestling world. Jerry Lawler's 1971 career was a testament to his skill, determination, and love for wrestling. His journey through various states and his encounters with a diverse array of opponents showcased his versatility and resilience. Lawler's impact on the wrestling world in 1971 remains a cherished chapter in the history of the sport.